Hey, what's up guys? This is the Henry Tech Daddy Videos. Welcome back. And uh, today we are going to be talking about sending products in the Amazon's FBA program. Uh, looks like this is on a little delay here. So um, I sent over 10,000 units to uh, Amazon just this week. Um, and so I... As you see in my thumbnail there, um, these are all the boxes that are pretty much going to the UPS, going to be sending them into Amazon, and um, get that gets into Amazon's FBA program. That's just part of uh, uh, the process and, and so forth. Um, I want to just uh, let everybody know I, I have been gone for a while. Uh, I had some family issues uh, to deal with, and um, so uh, came up as an emergency, so I had to get that taken care of, uh, and um, so now I'm back on track uh, trying to get caught up, um, <laughs> and that's the, that's the thing is, you know, family comes first, and so I uh, really had to take an emergency flight and uh, uh, head out of town uh, and get some uh, get some of these personal issues uh, taken care of. But uh, that kind of set me back in my uh, Amazon uh, business because um, if you're selling 20, 30,000 units uh, in a month, then uh, it will add up uh, fairly quickly and it will sell fast. And now uh, Amazon is picking up uh, tremendously and so um, now we're uh, it's getting busier and busier and busier which is expected because uh, when you get into the summer months uh, it's going to extremely it's going to get uh, busier uh, really fast and uh, just depends what you sell there's a few other products uh, that I had uh, taken a look at um, I'm going to be putting that into the product of the month. Yes, I am going to be offering the product of the month uh, for this month there, James. Uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, I have not had a chance to, uh, you know, to do that uh, just because I've been out. I literally been out three weeks. Um, and um, so I am trying to catch up. Uh, and that goes along with the Amazon business itself. Uh, you know, I was grateful that, uh, that I, um, had a lot of products in there and they kind of sold while I was gone, uh, which was good. Um, and I had to kind of had to stay on top of that also. So, uh, with that being said, you know, um, the, the Amazon FBA program, uh, for you newbies out there that are thinking about selling on Amazon is kind of good for that when you do send products in. Um, you can send products in and um, um, it kind of sells by itself. You know, it, it, it literally will sell. Um, it was, <laughs> I, I have company back over here. And she's literally on the fence. So, sorry, distracted. Um, but uh, to make a long story short, this is uh, you, you want to make sure that uh, you get these products uh, into Amazon and have enough in there. So for situations like this, where um, you know where you where you um, have these unexpected emergencies, uh, your your business kind of runs by itself. Uh, and which which was good because uh, mine does run by itself and um, I'm pretty excited about the, the new product of the month uh, the new product of the month that um, uh, is going for uh, for this month for February and uh, we're gonna get that we're gonna get that back in and um, I might even just do it for the March product of the month just because it, it's a very good product and um, it's a product that uh, people are needing now. Um, I when I look for products of the month, um, I'm just going to kind of fill you in on that. Uh, how what my method of thinking is and so forth. Um, 
I look for anything that is in need. So when you are looking for products, uh, you want to try to find uh, things that people need, people want, people are going to purchase, people are going to buy. And um, I also look at events. Uh, so if there's any type of major event that's going on, uh, I kind of look at uh, some of those things and the numbers and, and look at the numbers and see how well those particular products uh, sell. So um, usually if there's a huge event, there's a, 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 a big shortage of the product itself, especially uh, overseas, if you're, if you're buying it overseas and trying to get it into Amazon's, um, Amazon's warehouse, uh, it, it can become very difficult. Um, so you, you, you want to try to catch it on the early stages and, and so forth and uh, kind of go from there. Um, I, I'll give you an example. Say, for example, um, this isn't this isn't an emergency or anything or anything that has to do with that. But, um, you know, the fidget spinners, when those went out, uh, those were one of the pro those are one of the products that I, I purchased and everybody was buying these cheap old uh, fidget spinners and I ended up buying the the more expensive one the ones that were nine dollars ten dollars per unit and I was selling more of those uh, and 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 uh, the attraction was there because mine uh, sp they spun a lot longer closer to four minutes to five minutes and so forth while the other ones were uh, really cheap and they were selling them for real cheap and so when that came around I was getting big orders uh, for those particular products itself um, and then um, you, you look at something like na like a national disaster or something that uh, say for example fires um, uh, these masks that they put over, those sell extremely well. And they're selling extremely well right now because of the coronavirus or, uh, that's going on internationally. And um, there's a shortage of them. You, you just can't get, can't get too much. But there was another product that I had uh, seen and I did my homework on uh, while I was in the hospital. Um, and uh, so I took a look at that particular product and that product sold better than the mask did. Um, and so even though I, I, I look at those and, and the numbers are there, I still want to test it. I still want to go out there and check it just to make sure, find out how many sellers are selling this particular product. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll answer your questions in a minute, guys. Um, you know, I'll do uh, some Q and A. But um, uh, the world's masks are made in China. They have temporary halted exports. That's correct, and that's what I was talking about, Mark. Um, I was talking about that just because, um, because it uh, those are those are one of the things that. Um, let me see if I can get this lined up here. But uh, those are just like some of the things that I look at um, that are national disasters and people are in a need for, you know, they need these masks and, 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 and people are wearing them unnecessarily because um, even though they feel like they're, they're protecting themselves or doing what well, I've talked to several doctors and, and, and stuff and um, they had mentioned the fact that uh, it's, it's a close contact, uh, issue, uh, not so much, um, a breathable issue or what have you. So, um, with that, there was a lot of people that were ordering those and now they are, um, pretty much on back order on a lot of the suppliers because they're trying to cater, uh, to, overseas first where the problem really is as opposed to like Mark had said earlier uh, exports trying to get those masks over here uh, they're, they're, they're on hold and um, you're going to have a problem uh, trying to sell those uh, 
um, not so much trying to sell them, but try to get them. Uh, and you may get some, but they um, may become, they may sell extremely fast. And um, your problem is going to be, you may sell them out extremely fast, but if you don't have a good backup to make sure that you don't run out of this particular product, then that's where people get in trouble. That's where people go out and um, they get their accounts, you know, suspended or um, they get their accounts uh, restricted just because uh, they're going out and, and, and selling a great product. And Amazon, believe me, will go out there and cater to you if they see that your product is selling and selling extremely well. And if it's selling extremely well, then um, um, you have a winning product for the moment. And uh, that's something that you can capitalize on. And that's why it's always good to uh, get this early and knock it out early and make sure that uh, you go out there and uh, have enough of them because if you don't that's where uh, it become a problem and an issue and um, Don't try to go out there and uh, uh, Drop ship this product because you can get into a lot of trouble with that just because there's a lot of suppliers that are doing a lot of stupid things right now and um them going out there and trying to uh, fulfill those orders, uh, you can get into quite a bit of a, a bind uh, just with that itself. So, um, all right. So uh, tonight, you know, I, 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 I wanted to talk about Amazon's FBA program and Merchant Fulfilled. I've been getting tons and tons of people uh, literally asking these questions. What is better, Amazon FBA? or Amazon Merchant Fulfilled. And one of the things that I kind of, I, I look at is if you're at home all the time and you're, you, and you don't have a whole lot to do, uh, try the Merchant Fulfilled because it is cheaper, uh, in my opinion, to do Merchant Fulfilled and get the product out there. But um, at the same time, um, when you do Amazon FBA, uh, you uh, they, they can get that out uh, at, at a pretty decent time. Not only that is, <laughs> these are orders that are coming in, which you hear right now are actually orders uh, that are coming in. I, I, I opened up my Merchant Fulfill products uh, since I've been home, and uh, now these orders are starting to pop in. So, um, with that being said, there's a few things when you send products into Amazon's FBA program. Uh, you, you can get, uh, you can do the advertisements, um, the pay-per-click uh, with, with uh, you sending products into Amazon. Um, you get put in the front of the line. And when I say that, I mean, there are prime members that get free shipping and they get exposed to your product. Not so much when you're doing Merchant Fulfilled, unless you have a Prime badge that was given to you um, through Amazon, um, then you get into, the, and you can actually uh, sell these products to the Prime members. And uh, I kind of tell people, as you, you look at it as, as um, you're getting on an airplane and you go to the right, that's coach, right? That's all the, all the regular Amazon customers. Then you go to, to the left, that's first class, that's Amazon Prime members. So when you, uh, to simplify it, when you send products into Amazon's FBA program, you're literally, your product is going both ways. It's going to the Prime members and it's going to all the other customers for uh, Amazon who are searching for that particular product. If you are doing Merchant Fulfilled and you don't have a Prime badge, it, you, basically you are going to the right and you're serving customers for Amazon that are searching for it, but the Prime members don't see it. And that is the problem with Merchant Fulfilled. 
And it is important if you do Merchant Fulfilled that you go out there and you get that Prime Badge. You have to earn that Prime Badge. We have to have sales. You have to have good uh, matrix. Um, everything has to be pretty good. Your shipping has to be uh, within one to two days for shipping to ship the product out. You have to make sure all those products or all those orders that uh, come in get shipped out right away. And uh, and then if you if you do that, uh, you can look into your back office under your shipping template and find out if that Prime uh, badge is available to you. You can actually check that now if you guys like. Just go into your shipping settings and find out if um, you are offered the Prime um, badge. And if you are, then uh, you can do Merchant Fulfilled and it's just the same as you sending the products in. Uh, the only difference is uh, that you... Um, the only difference really is is where it comes down to is your professional account and individual account. And those are the two things I kind of want to talk about too is what the difference is between the professional account and individual account uh, when you first start out with Amazon. And you have to really think about this. If you want to be able to send products in the Amazon's FBA program, you must have a professional account. If you... Um, do individual, uh, in other words, you have an individual account, you don't pay the $39.95 a month, uh, then you are not offered uh, Prime at all, uh, and you're not offered uh, the, the pay-per-click, so you cannot do uh, your pay-per-click campaign. And um, one of the things is that you must make sure that if you are in the professional account, take advantage of these other programs that Amazon has to offer. And um, once you do that, then uh, you, you just, you, you're gonna get more sales. And uh, especially for new people, I always tell them go towards professional, pay the $39.95 a month, and uh, uh, start selling products, start sending your products into Amazon's FBA program. If you can do that, then uh, it's just gonna be much easier for you as far as uh, your sales are concerned. And then eventually uh, you will continue on and um, you wanna make sure that you uh, do everything correctly. And when I say that, I'm talking about uh, sending your products out on time. There are... <laughs> That I, I cannot believe some of the people that are selling on Amazon and, and they get an order and, and I get these messages, especially here on YouTube, um, and they're asking me, I got an order, how do I do this or how do I do that? I mean, you should know that before you start selling on Amazon. That's one of my pet peeves is people call me, but yet I offer my... Um, Amazon A to Z course, it teaches you everything you need to know about selling on Amazon. But yet there's people out there that are they're literally selling on Amazon right now and they are making mistakes. And then all of a sudden they get their account shut down and they're going, what do I do? You know, what do I do to, to do this? And, and um, you know, well, what, why did I get a red flag? Or well, why did I get... Uh, my account shut down, um, and so forth. Um, so with that being said, I kind of just, I, I feel like there's, there's, there's a lot of you out there that you, you want to take the free road. You want to take, uh, that road, the low road to where you think that you're going to be able to, um, sell on Amazon and make $10,000 or more sell on Amazon. I, I'm telling you right now, you're wrong. It took me a long time to get to where I'm at. I've been selling on Amazon for well over 12 years now. And I just had my anniversary January 1st. Uh, it was my 12th year selling on Amazon. And um, I, I just don't get it. I don't get the, the process of, of what people think. If they think they can run a business on Amazon with very little money, which they're wrong. They cannot run um, 
a, a legitimate business with little or no money, um, they have to have something there to kind of back them up. When I do my orders, uh, I literally, literally go out there and I will spend $4,000, $5,000 per order to get my products out and get them off to Amazon. And, and, but with that $4,000, $5,000 could make me well over twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 easily. So, you know, if you are making the money and you're going out there and you are continuing to, uh, feed that beast, uh, you're, you're going to, uh, be very, very profitable. And right now it's February. I mean, it's just February. It is the beginning of the year. People are getting their income taxes. They're buying the course. They're starting to learn and they're starting to get in there and say, okay, this is what I need to do. And then there are some people out there that go, I'm going to pick this product, but they don't know what they're doing when they pick that product. They didn't do the research on it. They didn't go out there and, um, find out how many competitors they are. Uh, they didn't buy a software program to help them with the research, uh, especially if you're brand new and you have, and you are um, new to Amazon and you don't know what you're doing. Uh, these little tools can help you out tremendously. I mean, I didn't have these two tools 12 years ago, but it made my job a lot easier by kind of doing the research and kind of looking at, okay, this product here, you know, let's try this product, let's try this product. Even though the product sells well, it may sell well for other um, sellers, but it may not sell well for you just because they've been established already and they've been out there and they uh, been selling and they have a great reputation, but you go out there and you're brand new and you have, no feedback or you have no reviews. Uh, not the fact that that uh, reviews uh, are going to make it uh, or break it. Um, it's a matter of, well, do people trust what you have? And when I look for a product to buy, I'm looking for products that are good, good quality. That is my number one thing here when it comes to selling on Amazon, not quantity, quality. If you have good quality products, you're going to get very few returns and you're going to get more sales. Bottom line, if you have products that you're buying 50 cent units and um, you're selling barbecue gloves or these garlic presses that they were selling quite a bit, you know, people drop ship those, you know, summer's coming around and you know, they're, they're thinking about, oh, what do I, what do I buy or what, what I, you know, and, and when it comes down to it, um, they're not selling the right products and they're not getting ready for the upcoming, for the, for the end of the year, which is, that's where you really make your money is at that end of the year and in the middle of the year. In June and July, those are my best months for sales, June and July. I, I do a lot when it comes to uh, selling uh, in June and July, but uh, I actually do more in those two months than I do in October, November, and December. So just because December is a very short month, you have literally 14, 15 days in December. Then after that, it starts to slow way down right after Christmas. And uh, it's no different. Every year is the same. Um, it's just a matter of what products are you going to get and what products are you going to sell and what products are going to be in demand. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to answer some of you guys' questions. I've been uh, ranting for about 24 minutes. And so uh, I want to make sure that uh, uh, I answer some of your guys' questions. So why don't we go ahead and do that, see if I can catch... Uh, some of these. So if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Um, and, uh, I will go ahead and, um, try to answer that. So let's see what's up there. James, uh, James Hancock says, hello. Uh, he also said if I was going to offer the product of the month, yes, I am for March. I'm going to offer the product of the month, uh, for that, uh, Mark H 10 thumbs up. 
uh, first for me. Best hope for your solutions to emergencies. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, James uh, understands. I'm in the club. Peter Moreno, I'm in the club. Uh, <clears throat> let me see here. James says, nice cat. <laughs> yes, she's a pain in the butt. Uh, Panero, uh, Panarello Ryder. Good evening, Mr. Henry. Thank you for calling me back last week, considering that all you've been going through uh, personally. I appreciate that. Um, uh, Mark says, the world's masks are made in China. They have temporarily halted exports. To, um, to reopen the China factory, the management must prove they can supply two times a day for each worker. Uh, correct. Uh, goggles are a better prevention. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bad thing that's happening overseas and people are scared, you know, they're, they're, there's a lot of people dying because of, of uh, the virus itself. But um, that's where, where you, you can kind of capitalize on stuff like that when it comes down to uh, getting a, a product and selling this particular product and, and really taking advantage of it. You just have to make sure that you have enough of it. Um, and once you do that, then uh, you should be okay. Anthony Morales, what's up there, Anthony? Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, is is it still possible to get into the business? Yeah. I mean, that that is, to me, I, I, I look at it this way, Anthony. I, I kind of say, have that mentality. You think that way. And while you're thinking that way, I'm making money because people are hesitant. They, they will talk themselves out of a good situation. And I'm gonna tell you, I've been into a lot of multi-level marketing companies. I've been into a lot of businesses and I've been an entrepreneur for a very long time. And one of my best businesses is selling on Amazon. I've been doing it for well over 12 years. And then now I, I, I teach people how to make money selling on Amazon. And I've been doing that for well over seven years. And so uh, for me, it's it's a lucrative business and it's a very, very stable and great income. And it gets better every single year, every single month. So to, add, to answer your question, yeah, you need to get into this business if you really, really wanna make some money, period. That's the bottom line. Um, I always say I can lead that horse to water, but I can't make them drink, right? That's that old saying, right? So the people who are drinking the water are the ones that are tasting the sweet nectar of pretty much this business itself. Um, but to answer your question, Anthony, yes. It is a great time to get into the Amazon business. And, and I have people coming into my Amazon A to Z course. They're purchasing the Amazon A to Z course. And, I, and it always happens. The, the, the beginning of the year, people start coming in. They want to learn. And uh, so my business is booming also when it comes down to that. Um, Dwayne says, Dwayne S. Hi, Henry. That 20 cent pay-per-click trick has worked greatly for me. Awesome. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a 10 cent automatic campaign. And so um, if you run that 10 cent automatic campaign or whatever you are selling on Amazon, you, are, are, you should make some sales. Now, I'm gonna tell you a few ways that this campaign won't work. This campaign will not work if you have tons and tons of competition and you're selling and there's like massive people selling the exact same thing. There's just too much competition. Um, it won't work if you put your campaign and you set it for $10 a day, $5 a day. I'm telling my members who are successful doing this, Put $150 a day. Put $200 a day selling that particular product. You're going to bump up that campaign 
every 10 cents, you're going to do that 10 cents every two weeks. Every two weeks, bump it up from 10 cents to 20 cents. Another two weeks, bump it up from 20 cents to 30 cents. That's free, guys. I mean, I'm just telling you that um, you, you can get sales out of this. I literally have done close, uh, <laughs> I have spent, um, I think what I, it was like $1,900 and I did well over $10,000 in sales just, uh, just with that itself. And so, and there's other people that are trying it. I, I see it now on YouTube. Other people are trying to copy and, and say, hey, try this and try that. Um, and I actually show you. So if you watch my videos on YouTube on 10 cent campaigns, you will see uh, my proof there that I actually show you my numbers of what I have been doing. And I've been running this campaign for nine months now at $200 a day. And it will never, ever get to $200 a day. Sometimes I think the most I've spent was probably around $23 in one day at a $200 a day uh, bid. And so um, a lot, and, and that's one of my successful campaigns, to be honest, is that 10 cent campaign is very successful for me on some of my products and they give me the sales. I have done well over 500 unit or 500 sales <clears throat> just running that campaign itself. So it does work. And uh, um, Dwayne, uh, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that. Uh, James says the course is worth the money. Um, let me see here. <laughs> Dwayne says, please do more pay-per-click videos. Yeah, I mean, Dwayne, it, um, if I give all my secrets out on YouTube, then, then my, my course would be, you know, it would be worthless. Um, they're in my course and what, and you should be looking at the course itself and you'll, you'll learn a lot about pay-per-click, uh, campaign itself. And so, and, uh, excuse me. Layla. And um, so <sighs> pay-per-click is, is a different animal. That is, that's something that, that you, it's very hard to master. And, and one of the things that I want to talk about with uh, the pay-per-click campaign itself was um, um, your product. Your product has to be a good product product. If your product is not a good product, uh, you could do anything and everything in the world and it's not going to help you. So you want to make sure that your product is uh, pretty good and you're selling a good product and that's going to help you. So, um, Illinois Picker, what's happening? The only thing keeping someone from success is lack of action and hustle go for it so true i mean i have a lot of people call they call me i leave my phone number on my videos on top of my on my title and i get people calling me and one of the one of the things that 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 they do is they 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 talk themselves out of it they sit there and well you know okay i'm gonna try this but i'll try it in about a month and when i get paid and and I already know they're going to fail. Um, and, and, and I'm not telling them they're going to fail, but I already know because their mindset is they already, you know, have not pushed that button. They, they didn't do their homework. They didn't go out there and um, uh, do the things that they should be doing uh, in order to be successful in this business. And... Um, you know, I, I talk about I talk about these, the, you know, products. Products are very, very important because um, you have to have a product, a winning product, that product that people are going to buy and people that, you know, that they need. Um, one of the things that, uh, that, that really made me a lot of money was hangers. Uh, a long time ago, I sold hangers. And... The hangers that I sold were heavy duty hangers and those hangers 
were not for shirts like this. They were for suits and they were for um, <clears throat> stuff that was uh, $200 a, you know, a suit or $300 a suit and, and, and uh, very well quality wood. You know, I had cherry wood that I was selling um, for hangers and those right there uh, I made a killing off of. Um, just because there were, everybody else was thinking, oh, I'm going to sell these plastic hangers. Well, you know, you can go down to Walmart, get them for 25 for two bucks or whatever they are. Uh, and there's tons and tons of people selling the exact same thing. You know, they're selling the cheaper stuff. And you got to go out there and think outside that box and say, what else can I do that's going to uh, be successful? And, you know, I sold those hangers. I sold hangers for babies. Uh, and, you know, I'm kind of giving you guys ideas and sitting here going and saying, you know, these are the products that, that people don't even think about. You know, um, mothers will spend tons of money on hangers for their babies, uh, whether they're elephant or hippo or, or different animals. Um, believe me, they buy and they buy in bulk when it comes to stuff like that. There are tons and tons of people selling those right now. And um, so you have a lot of competition. So before you go out and decide you, you wanna go sell hangers or anything else like that, do your homework on that first before you do that. Find out how much competition there is. And uh, if you're, you know, um, before you go out there and spend thousands and thousands of dollars uh, on on products and, and that's one of my things is you guys need to make sure that when you're selling uh, products do your homework before you start going out there and spending tons and tons of money um, what else <clears throat> James says how do I promote the affiliate program I need to know more and I need the virtual assistant I know you're busy yes uh, okay. yeah right now I have put a lot of that stuff on, on hold right now just because of my personal issues, but I will get back on track with that uh, affiliate program uh, itself. I do have videos on uh, Tech Daddy videos for the affiliate program, but I will be updating some more uh, on that also. Okay, so be patient with that. Anthony, uh, how long would it take to see profits? That's easy. I mean, I have, pro I have one product that I sell that I get for four dollars overseas and I sell it for 78 bucks per unit now um that is a huge profit for me um and then I have products that I could that I buy for two dollars and I sell it for 12 bucks so I don't make as much profit off of that but every single month I I make you know, profit. I go out there and try to uh, make profit. There's a lot of my members that will start with one product and within a, a month, they're making profit on their products. I have one person that um, uh, is overseas. I think he's in Iran or something like that. And he's selling here. He's a member and uh, he's selling a, one product that is making a money now. And, um, I, but he, he tried like four or five different products before he came to me. And, uh, then he went ahead and asked me and said, Hey, what about this? We kind of did the research on it. I said, yeah, that's a pretty good product. He made it his own and now he's selling quite a bit. Uh, there's another one who, uh, is overseas in London. Um, and I think you know who I'm talking about. Um, but he uh, went out there and decided that he was going to do something in the sports industry. And now he's making money off of that. So it does take time. It doesn't happen overnight. And this is the way Amazon is designed. They're designed this way. And I, can, I cannot tell you how many people will call me and say, Henry, why is it that on Monday and Tuesday, I can do 50 sales, but then on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, I may do 15 sales because Amazon does not give you the whole piece of pie. They want to test it. 
They want to make sure that people are in demand for it. Look, they'll put you out there in the front of the line and they'll say, hey, this guy's doing 50 units. Okay, um, let's keep this going. Because the way Amazon works is if you're selling product, they're making money. If you're posting product and you're not selling anything, they're not making money off of you. This is why they push it with pay-per-click. This is why they do several, several things out there to make sure that your matrix is good, that you're, you're shipping products out on time and you're making sure that you, you, you don't have uh, late shipments or, or anything else. All that comes into play. It's not like selling on eBay where, you know, somebody will sit there and they'll buy a product and the next thing you know, they're shipping it back to you because they can't. Um, Amazon is totally different when it comes to that. You know, they want to make sure that their customers are satisfied or they're happy. You know, I just bought a unit for myself. That unit was $400 and um, I had a problem with it. And be, one of the, part of that unit did not work. So what I did is I just called Amazon and said, hey, part of this isn't working. And the solution was you have two choices. We could replace it with another unit or we can give you your money back. And do you see how easy that is for their customers? It doesn't matter. You can have the best product in the world. Amazon has a 100% money back guarantee. And that's what people have to understand. You can have the best product in the world, but if people want to return it, they're going to return it, period. And they're going to get their money back um, most of the time. Uh, there, there's, there's some guys out there that will say, oh, I'll give you a 60-day money-back guarantee, and they're listing. And, but yet, when they put up the listing in the back, they'll sit there and, and say, oh, well, 30 days, and that's it. And they can't get their money. And Amazon will honor that most of the time. Even though it's in the listing itself, they're not looking at the listing. They're, they're saying, this is what it says on, um, on the listing itself when it comes to the description or, or what have you. And this is what we're going to honor. Um, so when you do all that and you, put, and you, you do your new listing, uh, it tells you that, you know. Um, so they do guarantee money back and and so and i've had people who try to return products to me 45 60 days later and amazon says nope sorry you're gonna have to keep it wow i just got a 20 dollars <laughs> 20 dollars man i appreciate that you know here's the thing is i i appreciate the money guys i really do uh just helps out with some of the with this channel thank you very much i'm gonna i'm gonna uh tell you guys who actually uh, sent me 20 bucks or what have you. But the whole idea is to give you this information and and I, I appreciate, uh, you know, you guys doing that for me. And it, it, it's gonna, uh, right now I'm kind of going through quite a bit. So, um, you know, that means a lot. Um, so I appreciate that. And it just tells me that I'm doing a good job. So I, thank you very much and, and, and um, uh, thank you guys also. I just want to kind of say this too. Thank you for the thumbs up. That helps out my videos tremendously. And uh, so even though I do these live broadcasts uh, and they do go on for almost an hour. So, so <laughs> there's a lot of you guys that sit here and die hards and they will watch the whole thing, which is awesome. Because I can go on in different topics and different things. And um you know, you guys are listening. I know you're listening. So when it comes down to that. So let's find out. Um, okay, so Anthony says, how long would it take to, to see the profits? And, you know, like I said, that that's something that um, it could take a couple weeks. It could take a couple months. I really don't know. It's just what you're selling. So uh, Illinois Picker says, I maintain my pay-per-click at 10 cents, still staying under 9% advertising cost of sales and getting good impressions and sales perfect now what you want to do illinois picker since you are under nine percent uh, advertising cost of sales 
go ahead and increase that bid from 10 cents to 20 cents. See if it helps out more with your impressions. I'm sure it will, because that's what usually happens. Um, and keep your advertising budget uh, hopefully the same. If you're spending $150 to $200 a day, um, and your advertising cost of sales is kind of telling you that you are making more sales than you are spending because it's under 10%. Um, the magic number is going to be 50%. Um, if you are over 50% on your ACOS, your advertising cost of sales, that means that you are spending more in advertising than you are making money on sales itself. So the lower the advertising cost of sales, the better you're going to be. And if you can keep that in single digits, you're doing a damn good job. So if you, and, and I'm telling you, uh, you probably won't get under that nine or 8% uh, just because um, it's hard to do. It's, it's it, But hey, those are great numbers. That's telling me that you're doing sales and that you're making money off of that. So good job uh, on that. So uh, Anthony says, I have 100000 in the bank. I need to put it to work. Well, what are you waiting for? Quit talking. Sign up for my Amazon A to Z course. It's less than $1,000 if that. Um, and start learning. And start learning the right way. And uh, take that chance. You never know. You might make some money. Pablo, uh, Pablo Zapeta. Hi, Henry. How do you how do you know an item or product would like uh, I would like to sell is not copyright protected? Thank you. Call Amazon. Simple as that. Give Amazon a call. Ask them and say, Hey, um, I have a product and it looks similar to this, um, and they'll let you know if it's copyrighted. If that particular product is copyrighted, if you have a product that you are private labeling, you can copyright that product as long as it's not the same dimensions, as long as it's not uh, similar to it. You know, it, it could be similar, but it could be bigger. So uh, we'll, we'll use this. We'll use this as an example. Okay. Say, for instance, you you have a tape gun, and uh, this did something. This actually did something um, special and you copyrighted this particular product when nobody else can sell this particular product. Say this tape right here <clears throat> was smaller or something. Then you can, you can sell this private labeling, not have to worry about that, but it's always good to go out there, give Amazon a call and, um, and, and, and find out if, um, that product is copyrighted. Just give them the ASIN number and they'll let you know if it's copyrighted or not. And uh, hopefully uh, yours is a little different when it comes to that. Okay, hopefully that answers your question. So, uh, love never fails. Do you have to keep stock or what happens? Yes. One of the biggest problems that, uh, and when you say stock, whether it's Merchant Fulfilled or whether it's Amazon FBA. If you run out of product, that's death to you when it comes to Amazon. And that you must have product. I have members that start to sell products and all of a sudden they're doing 10 sales a day. Then they're doing 20 sales at the end of the week uh, per day. And they're going, I only sent in 200 units. You better get your ass back on with your supplier. Excuse my French. And basically order double of what you have or try to get that product out there to Amazon as quickly as possible. Now, what I do is if I know that I'm going to run short on a particular product and I know that it's not going to get there in the Amazon warehouse on time, I would change my listing to a merchant fulfilled. I'll fulfill it myself till I can get more stuff in. So that way I don't lose sales. I will continue to make sales. And it's it could be cheaper for me to send it out myself 
as opposed to sending the product in. It's just more work, but if you um, if you want the sales, try to get the call your supplier and I'll call my supplier and say, I need to order 10,000 units, but do me a favor, send me 500 units right away. They can do a real small box, send it overnight, try to get it to you as quickly as possible. Um, and then you have it there. And as long as you have it there, change your listing from Amazon's FBA, change it to Merchant Fulfilled. And that listing will stay live. That listing will be ready for you. And all of a sudden, you're getting sales. And, and um, it doesn't, people kind of see it as, well, long as it's in stock, they're going to buy it. If it's not in stock and it says currently unavailable, they're going to go somewhere else. Simple as that. But yes, the answer to that question is always make sure you have plenty of products. And I tell my members, and they all know this, is make sure you never run out, period. If you run out, then you might, it's like you starting all over. You're in the front of the line, and all of a sudden you run out of product, guess what? Get back there in the back of the line until you have product. That's what Amazon will tell you. We're not selling anything for you until you get your product back. And, and, and as soon as you get your product back, guess what happens? You could be doing 40, 50 units a day. You have to work your way back up to 40 to 50 units a day. So you may start back at 10 units, five units a day, 15 units a day, and then start building back up and seeing that's, that's exactly what happens. And then the popularity is like, oh, okay, oh, I got to order this, or I got to order that. It's no different than my hangers, you know? I, my hangers were, were uh, selling extremely well. As soon as I uh, ran out, um, I lost quite a bit of money because now I had to start all over. And it's no different than anybody else, even if they're best sellers. If they're best sellers and they're going to sell currently unavailable, that means that they didn't, send, they didn't have the correct amount of stock and they didn't anticipate the sales that were going to happen. So you want to make sure that you have plenty. If you feel that your sales are moving and you're doing 10 a day and then the next day you're doing 15 a day, then you better make sure that you have plenty of stock because if you don't, that's where you can get into trouble. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, that helps out. <clears throat> Illinois Picker says, um, I've only been on Amazon for a couple of years now, but I know this to be true. Feed the beast. You must keep keep making adjustments and sending inventory all the time. The beast is hungry and loves to eat. That is a very good analogy, um, Illinois. It's a very good analogy that you mentioned and exactly right. Um, and people uh, will sit there and they'll go, oh, um, I, I'm starting to do good sales and I'm starting to make money on this product. And, and oh, um, yeah, but I, I'm going to wait for the, my next paycheck so I could um, go out there and reorder. When you should be using a credit card or something and getting that order in as quickly as possible because... Once you start selling on Amazon and you start making money on Amazon and you're doing $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month or $15,000 a month, that's your bread and butter right there. That's where uh, you are. You have that potential to sit there and quit your job or go out there and um, have that second income that's going to make you money. And, and people don't realize how powerful Amazon really is. I've I've been preaching this for a long time and, and I wish I could just tell people, hey, learn as much as you possibly can. And I, I'm going to, I'm with that being said, uh, I'm making another video, how to make $10,000 a month selling on Amazon in 2021. Okay. Because I'm preparing that already for a lot of you members out there that are, that are in my course. Uh, so you're going to have that knowledge. And, and I'm going to do a step-by-step -step video. And when I talk about step-by-step, -step, and this is talking about how to make $10,000 a month with one product or two products.
That's it. And that's what you concentrate on. And once you do that, everything, and it's breaking it down from uh, you picking that product out, you testing that product out, you sending the products in, you buying the products, and, you, and, and you're, re, you're just constantly going out there and making these sales. And I've talked about this many, many times before, where you get drop shippers out there and they have 700 units that they're selling, but there's 700 different units. One of the most successful um, uh, months that I had was selling four products and those four products had made me, cleared me over $50,000 for that month, for that month. And I was like, wow, I really have something here. And so when you know what's going to work and you know exactly um, what is making you money on Amazon, it's easy to sell on Amazon. But there's a lot of people that fail because they do things incorrectly. They do things wrong. And so with that being said, I was really thinking about that as I'm sitting in the hospital, um, you know, watching over my family member. And <laughs> my dad asked me, he says, son, how's Amazon doing? And I said, it couldn't be better. And he goes, well, I think you should, you know, he was more... Um, worried about my business as he was himself and I told him the Amazon business will run itself and it has um, and it has I don't have to worry about it and uh, this weekend I'm taking off again this weekend to go see him and um, but um, you know, he, he knows how important that is and, and how much income that comes in and how much income I could lose if I do things and I, and I don't go out there and, and uh, you know, do the business. But I told him, don't worry about Amazon debt. That's, that's something that's going to continue and that's something that's going to make money whether I'm here or there. That's the beauty about it. And he's an old timer. He doesn't understand, like, you know, uh, the gist of it, of, of how how that has made me a passive income for the last 12 years and has made me money. And so, but, um, you know, with that being said, you, you guys should really be on top of that. And you guys should be out there and, and selling and, and selling on Amazon and, and, and doing exactly what I'm doing. And if you do that, then it, it just, it's, your life would be more, it's just simpler. And um, you can go out there and, and run this business and run it successfully just by concentrating on and isolating just to these few things that you need to concentrate on to make this business work, if that makes any sense to you. So, and that's what I've done. I've done that, you know, for a long time. And uh, I, I'm happy to be teaching it now. So, um, you know. All right. Well, OLA, a big thumbs up. Appreciate that, uh, OLA, OLA, for uh, the $20. Uh, OLA is a member, and he, he ends up giving me money uh, quite a bit. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much, OLA. I, I, I appreciate that gesture. And uh, you didn't have to do it. You really did it. But um, thank you anyway. I, I appreciate that. All right. We are going on almost an hour here. Uh, Illinois Picker. Not only will Amazon side with the customer on all returns, they will not remove feedbacks any longer. In fact, if you ask to remove, they may suspend your selling privileges or deem your uh, performance. <clears throat> you know, I, I can't answer that. Uh, Illinois because I haven't had a negative feedback in a long time so uh, I can't really answer that um, I did have an issue and a problem with uh, a competitor 
um, but we kind of got rid of them and uh, haven't had that issue anymore. But uh, yeah, I mean, if that's something new and, and uh, I need to look into that, you know, because that's very, very important. Uh, Anthony says, I have your program. I still need to chat with you uh, ready to get started. Okay, well, no problem. If you, if you have it, then uh, just give me a call and uh, leave me a voicemail. Look, I mean, I'm in and out and I'm just, um, I, I, I do hear your voicemails and I will call you back. It just lately, these last few weeks, I have been, um, my, my mind and my focus has been on, on family. So, um, yes, just leave me a, leave me a voice. I will call you back one way or another. And that's why I leave my phone number on there. So, uh, feel free to do that. OLA says, you always do a great job. I appreciate that. Thank you for the thumbs up there, James. I appreciate that also. Okay, Illinois says, okay, well, do thanks. Do you recommend up the bids only or both up and down the bids? No, just up the bids only. That's it. Um, keep a portion back of many. Let me see here. Uh, I keep a portion back of many items I send to FBA so that I have inventory active now and available through FBM. That's smart. Uh, and it can take some time for everything to get checked in fully. That is a good point. Not only do you have to get your product from your supplier, um, you have to pretty much, uh, yeah, you get your product from the supplier and um, then you got to ship it to UPS. That takes time for it to um, <clears throat> get into Amazon's warehouse, depends where you're sending it to. And then from that point, for example, I have well over 10,000 units, 10,000 units sitting right there, ready to go, okay? Sorry guys, um, 10,000 units in these boxes, okay? And what happens is Amazon will get these units and they'll spread them out through all their warehouses. So they come in as um, uh, in transit and it's called FC, field transit uh, or, F, or FT, I think it's, yeah, field transit. And so basically it goes from one warehouse to another warehouse and then it's not available until they check it in and that that i mean which is good because i can have products on the east coast and i have products on the west coast and i have products say for example up north in seattle somewhere and down in san diego you know and so even though i just sent it right down the street they don't keep all the inventory in one little place uh they, they kind of spread it out which is good. And it just makes it easier for the customers to get it a little quicker. So that's a good point. And you do have delays on that. It does take a while. Uh, Bidel La Rufus. What's happening, man? There, Bidel. Hi, Henry. Can you have a merchant fulfilled listing and a FBA listing for the same product running at the same time? Yes, absolutely. Um, what you want to do is if you have the product uh, and you have a listing, go into your listing. You're going to edit your listing and then you copy your listing. Once you copy that listing, simply put in another UPC code and use that one for Merchant Fulfilled and have the other one fulfilled by Amazon. I do it all the time. It's in my course. So... And it shows you how to do that. So if you basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get an Amazon FBA listing in your back office. Try it, just try it if you like. And click on edit. And then it'll be a drop down box. And that drop down box will say copy listing. Your list, all the information is there. All you need to do is put in your images and your UPC code. There's a drop down box for uh, GTC code or, or UPC code. You click on UPC code, make sure you have a UPC code ready. Put that in there and put in your images, put in your price, 
That's it. That's all you need to do. All the other information is there. That's how simple it is uh, to do that. Okay. Uh, so hopefully uh, you learned something today. Pablo, Pablo Cepeda, for the new sellers, do you recommend Jungle Scout extension or Jungle Jungle Scout and extension? You know, it depends on you. It depends on your budget. It depends on your uh, what you're looking for. Jungle Scout Chrome extension only has, it only does a few things, but if you want to get more technical, then you're going to get the web app. And, and and get the web app. I have that in my description, guys. You can go into my description on my videos. It'll say Jungle Scout extension and give you the price on that. And also uh, the, for the Chrome extension also. Uh, and take a look at that uh, if you like. But yes, they both do two different things. The extension is a little bit more detailed and you can do a, a little bit more with the, with, uh, the Jungle Scout. Uh, extension. Also, I have ASIN Inspector uh, that I use and Helium 10 uh, that I use that's very, very good. Uh, so, just depends what software you want to use. Uh, good question. Uh, James says, can you have a Merchantville listing? Oh, yeah. We, yeah, I think we just... Um, we Can you have a Merchantville listing and an FBA listing for the same product running at the same time and offer free shipping on Amazon FBA and charge for FBM. Okay, so when you do Amazon FBA, they're getting free shipping regardless. You don't have to offer it. It's given. That's why people send the products in the Amazon FBA program. Merchant Fulfilled, you can charge for shipping if you like. I suggest you don't. I suggest you keep the price the same and you go out there and you just eat that shipping because you're going to get sales off of it. And if they're a Prime member and you got that Prime badge and you're doing Merchant Fulfilled, they're going to get free shipping anyway. I mean, you can charge for it, but it, to me, it's like something that I kind of really I frown on because... Uh, people aren't interested in paying four, five, nine bucks for shipping when they can, if they're a Prime member and they can get it for free, or they'll go somewhere else that is offering free shipping. So um, I tend not to do that if I, if I, if I, you know, uh, want to get the sale. Uh, <clears throat> Illinois says important point there: don't overcomplicate things. Sell what works, rinse and repeat. Yes. Um, James says, good man. Uh, James says, how is he doing? Um, yeah, my dad is doing uh, doing better. Um, still not out of the woods yet, but uh, he's doing better. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Um, I'm thinking every day on how to better automate my Amazon business and increase that passive income. Uh, I'm not speaking of a negative... I'm not speaking of negative feedback. I'm speaking of them removing the feedback related to FBA issues. They used to do this. Now they simply won't do it for any reason. <clears throat> well, they they would do that. They would do that. They would remove a negative feedback, say if it was their fault. And um, if it was their fault, uh, for example, they shipped the product product out late and it was shipped through Amazon's FBA program, they'll put a strike through it, and if they put that, that line through it, then the customer doesn't see it. Um, and you wanna let them know, hey, this was fulfilled by Amazon, and I got a negative feedback on it, most of the time, they'll get it removed. Um, if there's something new and, and they're not doing it, Illinois, then I, I don't know about it. Um, but usually, they'll take care of that. and. Um, there's other ways of getting your Amazon, uh, negative, uh, comments removed. So, um, hopefully that helps. Illinois, oh, Anthony, uh, says, Illinois Picker, are you doing well in the business? Um, well, I guess he, you can answer that. 
Um, Illinois says, my shipments get to Amazon Warehouse in a day or two. However, the process of being fully checked in, yes, it can take two to three weeks. Actually, now uh, they, they are actually getting quicker because they don't have the traffic like they did in December. Um, and so it is getting done a lot faster now. Um, it just depends which warehouse you're sending it to. And uh, I know like me, I'm in the Los Angeles area and I literally ship my products right down the street. And um, I mean, less than 10 miles and it gets there the next day. All this product that I have right here goes to UPS tomorrow. Guarantee you at the end of the day, Wednesday, um, this product will be checked in uh, through Amazon's warehouse. That's how fast it is over here. But um, I'm shipping a lot of products out too. So, James, uh, James, I think you can do that, but use SFP for items I sell FBA. I have found that more and more buyers want free shipping. Plain and simple. That's correct. That is correct. Um, uh, Henry, I the delay on graduating for SFP is getting really frustrating. My metrics are perfect. I've shipped over a thousand, but still stuck with no prime badge. Give them a call. Um, you can go into your shipping settings uh, and see if that prime badge is there for you and apply for it. Um, hopefully you get it. But if not, give customer service a call and ask them about the prime badge for Merchant Fulfilled and see if they can open up a case for you. If you're doing over $1,000 in sales and your matrix is good, then you should be able to, be, to have that uh, and should be able to get it. Okay. <clears throat> Looking for some software that will help to list books on FBA faster. No, I don't know of any. And I, honestly, books is one of the dinosaurs for Amazon. And I hate to say it, James, but it's <clears throat> they're just hard to sell. Um, unless they're educational, unless they're religious, um, those books are kind of, you know, they may sit for a while. It's just what people want, and uh, it's very hard to, to try to sell books on Amazon, and uh, it becomes a struggle sometimes. So, but uh, okay. All right, guys, it's been well over an hour. I appreciate all the questions today, and uh, thank you guys for watching, um, watching my YouTube channel, and I'm sorry for, uh, uh, you know, the long YouTube video today, but um, thank you. I will be back uh, and uh, I'm going to have some shorter videos. I promise you that and uh, we'll go out there and uh, get you some specifics on how to make money selling on Amazon. If you haven't checked out my course at Tech Daddy Videos, check out the course at Tech Daddy Videos and get in while you can, okay? And, um, you know, that's going to only help you out. If you really want to succeed in this business, do what the smart people are doing. Get into the Amazon A to Z course. Start learning how to sell on Amazon correctly and start making money. Uh, with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, feel free to hit that notification bell. It will let you know when I do come on and um, let you know when I'm on next. All right. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, with that being said, thank you for all the the questions guys tonight thank you new members for coming in and also thank you uh ola for the 20 dollar donation tonight uh i always want to give props where props are due so uh thank you for that and uh thank you for all the comments uh about uh my family so uh with that being said we'll catch you guys on the next video and uh, see you next time all right guys see ya peace